YouTube, man. This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. It is the 4th of July, and I'm on round two of barbecue, man, enjoying life and having a good time, man. Love my neighbors. Everything is going good. Today, I am doing shish kebabs. Uh, we're probably going to use some leftover baked beans that we had. Uh, some mac and cheese. Man, it was so much food. I got caught up. I apologize in advance. I got caught up. Um having a, a blast yesterday with so many people uh, between the two houses in the backyard that I just missed out on recording. A lot of people don't like to be on camera, so you gotta understand that. I don't, I, I as a person just don't record people without their permission, so I hope you understand that. Um, but stay tuned, we're gonna do these shish kebabs today. I got another set of neighbors coming over um, today, and uh, we're just gonna do shish kebabs. Like I said, shish kebabs. Um, which will consist of pork, pork tips, right? Some of that spare rib that I cut yesterday, I'm using that, putting that on steak, and I'm gonna put that on the grill. The grill's already at 400. I like to do that with this 980, bring it up to 400, try to clean off some of the stuff that's on here, um, get it kind of cured. And then uh, I'm using mats today, because I love these right here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, place these on there, and then uh, we're gonna go with it, y'all. Pretty simple. It ain't rocket science. I got the big ones too, but as you can see, I really don't have much meat. Uh, I'm gonna let them sit on there and cure a little bit. And we'll be back, y'all, so stay tuned. All right, backyard barbecues and barbecue at. Hey, as I'm talking, keep in mind I got braces in, and today I got my rubber bands in. Um, I'd have braces in for probably a year and five, six months. And I'm ready to get them off. And they keep telling me to wear these rubber bands. Um, and I, you know me, I've been bucking the system. But I keep having to wear them. So I'm ready to get them off. So bear with me as I keep my rubber bands in, as the doc, the dentist says, or, or what the doctor says, 24 7. So it is what it is because I'm trying to get them off. But anyway, we're going to get to it. I'm going to go ahead and crack this. I got my grill shut down to uh, 350. That's how we're going to run today on these mats. I don't have to worry about burning nothing. Uh, life is good, man. Uh, I'm going to do this real simple. The backyard way. And then spread them as I go. Ooh, catch it before it falls. I'll put that one up there. Uh, yeah, all I'm going to do is spread these, uh, these uh, rib tips and let them do what they do. It ain't going to take long, y'all. Um, like I said, 350, uh, and then just let them go. Yep. Uh, I'll spread them in a minute. Take this steak. Yep. You already know. So, a lot of people probably probably asking me why why I don't um, just put them on the uh, the skewer right now. And I'm going to tell you, the reason why is because my steak and my uh, my pork going to get done at different times. And I want everything to uh, be cooked at the right temperature for the right amount of time. So, with that being said, that's the reason why I'm pumping it at 350. Uh, so I ain't got to sit out here all day because I did that yesterday. But then, once they're done, we're going to do shrimp too. Yep, so I'm going to close that and let them do what they do. We're gonna, gonna do shrimp too, uh, but I'm not putting the shrimp on. If you know anything about shrimp, it takes about five five minutes maybe to cook. And as you can see, I got this blue thing right here. Um, what I use for baby blue, baby blue, whatever. That's the name of the day, I guess. Every day is a different name, I guess. But uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light that one in about an hour, let it come up to temperature. And then once it hovers at the right temp, then I'm gonna start sticking the skewers in there because the meat, um, in about maybe an hour and a half, two hours, the meat should be where I want it for me to put it over here, right? Because now I'm putting open flame over it. And that's when I put the vegetable on there or whatever, whatever they decide they want mixed with it, maybe pineapple or something like that. So stay tuned for that portion of it. We're going to come back in about uh, an hour, check on them, and then we're going to go from there. Stay tuned, y'all. What's good, my people? We back, man. It's been about an hour. It's time to check on this, uh, this, uh, pork rib tips and, uh, steak. And I'm gonna put some corn on there. I'll tell you what I'm doing with this corn. Pretty quick. 
we can eat. Uh, I'll just stick them on there and then we'll talk about it. Um, long story short, you just take uh, corn and uh, put my little spritz on there. You know what that is. Yeah, that's secret ingredient. Uh, but now with the corn, all you do is take uh, this corn you buy in the store, whole corn, corn. I cut it up into two pieces, wrap it up in aluminum foil and put butter in there, and just put it on the grill and let it sit. You're not gonna burn it up. I double wrap it with aluminum foil and then call it a day. Uh, everything's going. You see, I got, and I'll talk about these shish kebabs in a minute, what I'm doing. I got this going right now. Uh, doesn't look like it's burning properly, but I'll fix that in a minute. Um, but with the shish kebabs, all I'm gonna do is I'm cooking my meat first. And then what I'm doing is I'm using the steak, I'm using uh, pork rib tips, and I'm using shrimp. Shrimp, as you know, cooks real quick. So I'm gonna put shrimp over the actual fi uh, the fire. I'm not gonna put it on here and cook because it'll actually be rubbery. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll put them all on the shish kebab or the little wooden sticks or whatever, make it look authentic. The meat's already done. All I'm doing is just getting a good sear on it, cooking the shrimp maybe five minutes over the open flame, and then we call it a day. Um, Maybe putting some, I don't know what we're putting on there, pineapple maybe, onion, I don't, I don't know what we're putting on there. But it's going to be a surprise, it's whatever they want. Um, I'm going to put them out here on the grill, it's pretty simple. And uh, stay tuned to show you the final product. Uh, after I take these off in about 30 minutes, remember this is going to the 350. It was at 400 before I put the meat on there. I bumped it down to 350 to run it for an hour. Hour and a half should be good. Um, I don't want my, my, I want my steak nice and juicy. So 350 is a good temp. Um, and then we're just gonna roll it from there, transfer it from there to there, putting it on the stick, and going from there. So I'll see y'all in 30 minutes, y'all. All right, ladies and gents, it's been about an hour and a half, uh, or 30 more minutes since we both, uh, since we last spoke. I'm gonna check my uh, meat. It's about time to take it off. And what I'm gonna do is take it in the house, and uh, so I can put it on the skewers and bring it back and stick it on the other grill. Leave my corn running. And, uh, I'm gonna give y'all a picture of this once I once I tray it up so you can see what it looks like. And this is rib tips. So if you ever want to cook rib tips, um, man, I want to have these things are uh, smoking at 350. And you can see the the, the the reddish color. I got my, my cherry over there doing this thing. Uh, cherry wood chunks, not wood chunks, uh, wood wood chips. Pardon me. I wish I could use a uh, wood chunk. I miss Big Bertha, y'all. Uh, but something's in the works. Don't worry. You know me. I stay on top of something. Uh, but stay tuned. We'll be back. Uh, hold on. My bad. Uh, give y'all a picture of this real quick. And then uh, I'm going to tray it up. And we're going to talk when I put them on the grill. And then let y'all see how it looks. And send y'all your merry way. Hope y'all enjoyed that 4th of July. Uh, I'm trying to get in here and get some uh, mimosas in me. Quick look. See you on your way. Yeah. Mm hmm. All right. Stay tuned, y'all. What's good, back y'all? Barbecues and barbecue S man. This your boy. We back. I'm about to take these shish kebabs off. I apologize but ahead of time. I went ahead and put them on for the sake of time because it's Fourth of July. I had a lot of people over here running their mouth. Um, but, I'm going to show you these shish kebabs. Show you what I did. Give you a real glimpse. And kind of explain it real quick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what's on there. Let me make sure my camera right. Uh, so, I'll tell you what I got. I got a steak on here. Take one off. They're a little hot. Ooh, I got shrimp. Mm. Mm. Pardon me. Shrimp. Got steak. Yellow onion. I got a uh, rib tip. Uh, red up. Not red up. Red pepper. Uh, shrimp again. Onion. Yellow pepper. And then steak to fire like. I'm going to take these in, man. It's only a couple of them. 
because I only want a couple people to eat them. Um, comment below if you got a secret recipe or, or a secret uh, way of doing things when it comes to Comment below if you got something. Alright. Alright, pardon me, I got an airplane flying. But comment below if you know a different way of making this particular item on the menu for a 4th of July. Or comment below if you know or you like your special uh, show out, we call it the showstopper for the 4th of July or any particular uh, holiday that when you cook, oh, that's hot. When you cook, it's just an outstanding people uh, like, hey man, who made this or who did this? Comment below. Give me your recipe or hit me up on the side and give me your recipe. I'll make it. Give me everything but one item, just like I do. And I'll make it and I'll let you know what I think about it. And I'll post and give you a shout out on YouTube as well. Um, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get back in this house with my food. This is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue on the 4th of July. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you on another holiday, y'all. Enjoy.